The Olympics is the dream. Such an honor to represent your country on one of the biggest sporting events in the world. If you're not looking at your television, now's the time. Three and a half on that one. A true definition of happiness, of friendship, of honor. When you come to the Olympics and see all the different nations, and it dawns on me that I'm lucky to be in this situation. Just the fact that we're here is, is incredible. It doesn't happen to all athletes in the world, so we feel privileged. All eyes are watching uh, Pyeongchang right now. You don't want to be out there and just let it go by. You want people to kind of be talking about you after. <laughs> Tried really hard to get the Jamaican pin badge this morning and have bottled it. I'm Jamie Nichols, I'm an Olympic snowboarder. And now I'm in Pyeongchang, uh, amazing venues, uh, such a good place to be and I'm looking forward to the Olympics. So this is the first training day of the Olympics. I'm going to do a little follow cam with Jamie, he can uh, show you what's up. Slope style has um, always been my strongest discipline. I think snowboarding in the Olympics has definitely helped evolve the sport. Not only a difference in the riding level, but a difference in how the courses are designed as well. We've got so many different options in this slope style course in Pyeongchang. Uh, try my best and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can put some good runs down and uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, get in one of the finals and maybe get a medal. That would be the icing on the cake, really. I can strap it up. <laughs> My cousin Katie as well is coming to the Olympics and you know I support her, she supports me and we're good at riding together, we get on really well. It's part of the journey, you gotta put these these things on your nose so you don't get frostbite. It's been like minus 20 and to be honest, like I've got about seven layers on right now, like loads of thermals. And I've got these like hand warmers that I've been putting around my body. So I've like, put them in my chest, I've got them in pockets here by my waist. So we're at the bottom of the course, and, the, and this is where pretty much everybody does their board waxing. So I stick my board back in the GB bit. In fact, where are we? I think I need to be down there. Oh no, we're good. We just walk down here. <laughs> Even I'm confused where I am. Ah, hello. Yeah, kid, how are you? Is my second board done? Do you get the edges pretty similar? Like, because that's fresh. But you like a little sharper up here? A little bit sharper up there and, and then, then a little, little, a little bit, but not too but not much. Too. That'd be sick. Perfect, no, thank you so much. I'll bring my other bindings tomorrow okay. and then just stick them on. Cool. Cheers, dudes, thank you. Oh no! Can I see you? My cousin Katie unfortunately got injured in practice. Uh, That's so true. Could she not? Could she not carry on? Sochi, she didn't make it because of another injury. It's just she gets through these injuries and she comes back stronger. to the Olympics and doing it with your cousin was quite something special and it was just devastating to obviously not be able to like compete you know with her at this games and I was just gutted for her when you know she got injured and stuff. Welcome to the Phoenix Snow Park in Pyeongchang for the men's slope style qualification heat one. I never would have even dreamt of representing my country for snowboarding like that just was unheard of in the UK. We have dry slopes and indoor snow centers. It's just, we don't have mountains. Jamie, good to go. Jamie Nichols from Great Britain. He'll hope to fare a little better than his cousin Katie Omerod, who was ruled out of these games in the women's competition because of injury. Two-time Olympian, sixth place in Sochi, just barely missing the podium. He's a goofy foot rider. 
fast improving as well. That's off the quinoa, they call it traditional Korean roof. Now watch this, he needs to be high on these transitions. Three spins, that's the 1080. Three and a half on that one. Hand dragger. Yeah, what cost you? Jamie Nichols. It's gonna be happy with that one. But still, you're looking at right now, sixth is uh, 59.40. That's Sebi DeBuff on that bubble spot right now. Get one soon, KT. 71.56, that's the fifth place. That's qualification at the moment. I was hoping for like mid 70s, like 75, 76. Um, and you know, I'll step it up in my second run. Yeah, at least get second chance. <laughs> we still have some big hitters, but Jamie Nichols, you're happy with that. Three and a half on that, back to back 12 for Carlos Garcia Knight. Wow, <laughs> he was like in the air for so long. Oh my God. Huge from Cleveland. Four rotations to 1440 at the end, the first one of the day. Boom. Jamie Nichols, big run. He was on the bubble, but now he's just outside. So he knows, huge, huge run for the Brits. He knows he can compete at this level. This is his chance. Needs to be to 72.6. Here we go, goofy foot rider. Looks good. Seven on that. Landing. Yep, good. Two, three spins. Well here, Nichols. High. Three and a half. Oh! oh deep on the 1260, but he was going for it. Unable to stick it. The trick that normally is so comfortable for Jamie. He had no choice but to go for it. He's having an unbelievable run. Absolutely massive out there. It's difficult. Yeah, it was really difficult. Never mind. This is how it goes, isn't it? The wind was swirling all over the place. It's really hard to gauge what speed you needed. Like, I felt the wind on my back going into the second run, and I really wish I'd put a check in. But when you're just so in the zone, all you're thinking about is getting to the bottom and doing your run, and, and unfortunately, I was gutted I didn't get to do the last jump because I was going to step it up in the end and try the 14. The wind doesn't affect you on rails, um, and it can affect you on jumps. If it's uphill, you, you slow down through the air. If it's downhill, you're going too big. So trying to judge that while doing all these tricks is pretty difficult. I definitely need a rest, like my legs are quite tight. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a day off now. We're going down to Seoul because I'm meeting my wife, Jen, and my sister, Sophie, who are coming out to spend the week with me before Big Air. I'm also going to catch up with my cousin, Katie, as well, which unfortunately got injured in practice uh, a few days ago. But she'll be back. She'll be stronger next time. And I'm sure she'll be going for that medal. Have a guess what that means. Two lions. It means I have been to Two Olympics! <laughs> the ring, my friend made me the ring. Um, it's got engraved inside, it says Jamie Nichols, Sochi 2014, and then I guess I'll get 2018 added into the side there somewhere. My sister has never even been out of Europe, <laughs> so the first place she's coming to is Asia. I can't wait to see her face. I would never drive here. It looks worse than London. Driving in London's bad enough. Wow, look at this place. Is that the temple there? Wow. Well, this is different to the um, Olympic Village. This is a very nice place to relax. Epic. Often, like after snowboarding, especially on a you know hard training day, I normally just normally stretch out, do some yoga. That's kind of like my way of relaxing, and it's kind of a similar place to this. You know, you come here and sit and just close your eyes, and it's just a nice place to just come and relax. <laughs> yeah, it's such a tourist. <laughs> now, of course, I've spoken to Katie's mum, and I'm going down to see her and stuff like that. And Katie's mum really wants to come out, but Katie's just such a, again, such a strong person. She's like, no, mum, I'm fine. That's kind of how Katie is. And... 
How are you doing? I'm all right. Oh, I'm doing so. Thank you. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah. yeah. Hurting? Yeah, but I'm, I'm up here. Okay, good. So. You got all this up yeah, here. Too bad. When I heard you were going to stores, I was so gutted. I was like, I just wanted to come see you. Thanks. Got loads of snacks. Yeah, I'm all set. <laughs> all set. Coffee. Yeah. It was so nice to see Katie. I'm, I'm really proud of how far she's come and how brave she is. And obviously in a hospital where no one speaks English very well. And it was just nice to actually see her doing well and recovering. And uh, she's getting to go home soon, which made me really happy. And now I'm actually going to meet my wife, Jen, and my sister, Sophie, at the airport. They've had a long flight from London, so really looking forward to seeing them and uh, spending the week with them and seeing some events at the Olympic Games. I know, oh babe. Mm. You okay? Mm. Yeah. Good to see you. Mm. I bet you're both shattered. Yeah, you look a bit tired. I know, well. I'm knackered as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a long day. Been to like 10 balls, and I went to see Katie, and then we just come here. I've not eaten, so I've not had any food, so I'm a bit hangry. Well, hopefully there's some room we're service. Hungry. We're, we're hungry as well. <laughs> yeah. We, we smell as well, so can you get <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's do it. Welcome to the Phoenix Snow Park in Pyeongchang, where we are having the biggest day of half-pipe snowboarding in history. Come on, then. Let's go. If you're not looking at your television, now's the time. Three big medal contenders going back to back. Oh! <laughs> I've used to ride bike when I was younger, but I'd never... It'd just be so hard to get to a competitive level like this. This man in your picture, Sochi Silver, Ayumu Haranu. <laughs> yeah, he's really young. Nice high entry into the pipe. Oh, my God. 1440 <laughs> double cork, the first 1440. Whoa! No! Where? The pressure. The pressure. Scotty James. Come on, Scotty. A big rider, a big name in the sport. In a frontside 1080, switch backside 1260. Huge from Scotty James. I think this will be a good run. In the night, this will be in the 90s, I think. 92 for Scotty James. He's trying to hide how happy he is. Yeah, here he goes. Sean White. Oh my God. Two gold medals, a fourth in Sochi that he wasn't oh. happy about. And he goes down there on the oh, tomahawk. Oh, oh. Yeah, I've, I've got a good feeling he's going to go up there and, and stick that one down next run. 55. And he's got one more run to clean it up. These top three just battling it out. That's what it's going to be. Front side, 1260. I wonder what Sean's going to do now. Baranu is leading from Sean White. Front side, double cork, 1440 for Sean. <laughs> now into the double mate twist, the tomahawk. <laughs> Sean White now with a front side, double cork, 1260. <laughs> Sean White with an incredible run there. Yes, Sean. <laughs> I'm like waiting for the score. What do you think it's going to be? I think it's gold. Nine is 7.2. <laughs> 97, 98. Sean White takes gold in Pyeongchang. That was, that was a sick final. <laughs> so good. How old is that? <laughs> old. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing feeling to drop into an Olympic event. It's just, it, it's really hard to explain. Obviously, I don't even know how Sean's feeling because, again, I would love to win a medal. That would be, you know, amazing. I can't imagine how it is to, like, after Sochi getting fourth and coming back here and working super hard and then just to lay it all down today and get gold. It must be such an amazing feeling, especially now he's got three gold medals. He can definitely, you know, I would end on a high after that. That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> 
sandstorms. Which one's good? That's probably hardest. Just got to sit on it and find a point. It's been really nice, obviously, after Slope South, a little bit gutted, so it was just nice to have those five days to so take some time to kind of like, you know, not forget it, but kind of just relax, have a nice time. Um, obviously now more refreshed back here in the village and ready for bigger. That stinks. It's perfect is the Olympic Village because it pretty much has everything. It's a good place to be for a month, that's for sure. Yeah, I think we'll go on this thing. <laughs> It's the first time I've been skiing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's definitely good. I like the vibe in this apartment. It's nice. The Olympic Village is awesome. So it's just, everything's just so convenient. We've got a good crew of people in here and obviously get on really well with Billy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we, jacked, we jacked the scooters. <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. Big air. Yeah, looking forward to it. Big S is just one jump. Such a nice venue here. Just a gazillion stairs to go up. So many stairs. We're off to practice. Yeah, Big Air, it's really mellow. It's not too scary. It feels like a normal jump on a mountain. Um, it's not as big as I thought it would be, but at the same time, you can still do the, you know, the tricks that you can do on those big jumps. And it's just trying to like, try not overdo it and try and pace yourself uh, before qualies. I think he's in good shape, you know? It, it puts him in a good place. Technically, it, it, in big air as a specific discipline, he, he knows he's, he's perhaps unlikely to challenge the very biggest tricks in the contest, but that's not to say that on his, on his best day, he, he doesn't have what it takes to, to place well in a big air event. You know, he's, he's shown that time and time again. That's the deep spot. If you can measure it through there, that'd be great. Yeah. I feel like I've got my triple 14 back and my cab 14 is more solid now. I tried a back triple 16, you know, I've not landed it yet, but we'll see, you never know. We are making history out here today with the debut of snowboarding with Big Air here at the Olympics with some of the best snowboarders in the world. Be a back seven. Here Jamie Nichols will be the first to go. The first one to drop into <laughs> Olympic big air in men's. That's quite. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Jamie Nichols. One minute. One minute. No, you're up there. And you're above it all. Like you, you can see everything and all the people. And I'm looking, you know, to the sides. People cheering and it's just. It is an incredible feeling, but also very nerve-wracking. Thank you. All right, Jamie Nichols is a goofy footer, so rides with his right foot forward naturally, so dropping in switch here. And uh, fortunately, Jamie going down there. So, not the start that Jamie would have wanted, but he has another go at it. The nerves so got to me, like I took off early on the takeoff and didn't have the speed and just, just it was so overwhelming. Run two then in the qualification heats in the men's big air and Jamie Nichols with a stumble on his first landing needs to pull something out of the bag here. Sixth in the slope style four years ago in Sochi. Here he is in the big air. What can he do? And a cap 14.40 there. One, two, three and four full rotations there for the 14.40 degrees of rotation. I chose, you know, cab 14 just because it was switch to switch, which is obviously should be harder and should get scored higher. Wait to see his fate here. Well, he's not going to do it. 81.25. Unfortunately, that does not do it for Jamie Nichols. A 
felt like, you know, I landed it good, no hands down. Um, just don't know, really. I genuinely thought, you know, Switch 14 would have made it and obviously it didn't work out. It wasn't meant to be, obviously. It sucks, but, you know, everybody's riding so well and the standard's so high that, to be honest, to, like, kind of split everyone apart is so difficult when, you know, the jump's so good, everybody's landing their tricks, it's a hard time for the judges. Just, you know, it didn't happen to be this time which is annoying, but, you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Disappointment in the first heat for Great Britain. We're now ready to go with another set of riders' second qualifying heat. Didn't seem too happy with the no, score was there. Good. Good. Clinging on to a qualifying place, something that his compatriots failed to do in the first heat, is Billy Morgan, 28 years of age. There's a huge mix of personalities and motivations in the team, and it's really important being uh, not just a technical snowboard coach, but a British technical snowboard coach that, you know, we don't have 50 kids to choose a team of five from, like some of the bigger nations. We have to, have to get all of our talented young snowboarders to the top. All right, Billy Morgan, goofy footer on course. One, two, three, four. Backside 1440 triple cork with the nose grab, landing very far down the landing there. 95 0. Billy Morgan there he will now compete for the chance to be the first ever Winter Olympic Big Air champion. Here we are at the first ever Olympic men's Big Air final. Uh, going to take home a lot of memories and, and good memories as well, as well as some bad memories, obviously. Representing your country at the highest level in sport, it's, it's, an, it's incredible. And you don't, like in Sochi, I didn't quite realize how big it was. And now we look to Billy Morgan, too, the elder statesman, if you will, in this crew. One, two, three, four spins right there. Oh. It's going to be up to the judges. Did they dock him for that? Did he land solid? Not quite sure what they're going to do with this one. And it's a 30. He's been penalized there, Billy Morgan. But remember, he has two more runs. Four and a half. Oh, the 1620. Oh, the bloody Dracula he puts in there. <laughs> you dig that front side edge. You're going straight to your face. And there we go right there. That's what he was looking for. Backside triple court, 1440 nose grab. Wow, 82-5-0, Billy Morgan, how about that? This is an Olympic final, and it is the third run of that final. Big method air right there, but it gets you absolutely no points. Billy Morgan has given himself a fighting chance with that second run, 82.50. Boy, this could be something. He's got a fighting chance. Where does Billy Morgan go? Look, he's getting long in the tooth. He's 28 years old in slope style. He'll be 32 in four more years. So you got to think this is his last opportunity. Possibly, I could be wrong, but to get a medal out here in these Olympic Games. I feel like when they take their time, that's sometimes a good thing. 85 and a half, Billy Morgan. Third in this final round in big air, 168. Well played, sir. <laughs> Max Perot, can he become the main man here with his third and final jump in the Big Air final? Oh, over he goes! Yeah. No! <laughs> Max Perot! Oh, wow! Congratulations right there, it is set. So that means Sebastian Toutant's gonna come away with the gold, Kyle Max gonna get a silver, and Billy Morgan's gonna come away with the bronze. Yes! <laughs> Billy Morgan bringing home the bacon bringing home the bronze for Great Britain. But this is from the crowd. Yes. Yeah. Well done, mate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Obviously, we come from a country with no mountains, and yeah, it means so much to him and you know, everybody here. It's just incredible. It's, it's no words. <laughs>
been long, pretty much a whole month out here in the in South Korea in Pyeongchang, but you know, I've enjoyed it so much. I'm gaining more and more experience every time and uh, just looking ahead to the future and, and you know the possibilities of going to another games after this one and, and what I can take from you know what lessons I've learned from this games into the next games is is really vital and hopefully I did all my friends and family and, and my country proud and, and hopefully I'll get to do that again at the next one.